On today's episode, we have a chance to secure our uh, progress from the group stage of the Champions League. Stay tuned to find out if we can do it. Hello and welcome to Club 6, episode 14 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. We're at home to Fiorentina in Syria and then away to Apoel Nicosia in the Champions League. And uh, since you were last with me, we've played uh, just the, uh, the one match and uh, that was a... Uh, 2-0 win against Cagliari in Syria. So let's get straight into the uh, the first match of the episode against Fiorentina. And I will show you the uh, team for that one. And it is uh, Gasparini in goal, the back four of Skriniar, Omabamidili, Bongiorno and Jones. Uh, shot out at the base of midfield. Sambi Lukonga and uh, Barella ahead of him. Abdeslan on the right. Jeremy Doku on the left. Raspadori up front. So let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, so the assistant is recommending if you carry your last performance into this match, we'll do well. I think that's absolutely reasonable. So we will outstretch the arms, I think, and go with that. That's fine, that works. And let's go into the tunnel, do a quick tunnel interview. Uh, do you hope your team can produce today? Of course. If we play to the levels I know we're capable of, we'll be fine. Uh, Fiorentina are currently on a four-match unbeaten league run and lie in 11th place. Given their other form, this could easily have the potential to be a tough encounter. How do you see the game going? Um, playing a team with the ability to challenge us, this is going to be very tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Mikel Diaz, yeah, his quality is unquestionable. Okay, so let's get straight into the uh, match and kick things off. And as always, we're going to wait to uh, see the opening few minutes to see what the uh, what the lie of the land is in terms of the way the game's going. Uh, let's look at Fiorentina's setup and see what they're doing. They're doing a four-two-three-one which is something a lot of teams have tried against us. And it's Almada with the corner for Fiorentina. It's headed away. Uh, Barrow picks it up. Uh, Nelson into Barrow. And the shot comes in. Raspadori, uh, Gasparini rather, makes the uh, save. Raspadori is the striker at the other end. We need a demand more, I think. We are palpably second best in this one. So let's demand more and see who is letting the side down as far as performances go. Um, to be honest, Sambi Lukonga and Gas uh, Raspadori are the, uh, the main culprits so far. Uh, the ball is cleared long, but Bongiorno is underneath it. So we can launch a counter-attack. Jones to Doku, back to Jones. Finds Bongiorno into Shotard. Doku back to Shotard. He plays it through. And Barella. And Raspadori is there to slot the ball past the keeper and make it into Milan 1. Fiorentina 0. I'm not going to bother with the replay. I don't think we need one. We'll get straight underway again. And that leaves us uh, five points off the top of the table as it stands into second place in the league. Uh, Dominguez, but we've won it back. Doku with the ball forward. Raspadori runs the channel, looking for help. Uh, can only pick out a Fiorentina shirt, but Jones has it. Plays it into Barella, who absolutely smashes one into the corner past the uh, Fiorentina keeper and with 37 minutes gone it's into Milan 2 Fiorentina nil and suddenly we're looking comfortable 
But uh, that said, we are down to third in the league, and um, Lazio have gone above us. So it's Almada to uh, Badir. It's played all the way back to Newball in the uh, Fiorentina goal. Uh, Jones is under the clearance though, brings it forward, finds Barella. Shot out to Jones, Barella. And it's with Doku. Jones beats his man, finds Doku. Jones again to Bongiorno. Shot hard into Barella. He's tackled and uh, Fiorentina can bring it clear. Barrow finds Pazella. He's played it over the top and they're in, but they've hit the B, uh, post with the uh, shot. And it's nearly half time. There we go, half time. Into Milan 2, Fiorentina 0. Let's go in and give the lads some words of encouragement. Uh, things are going well. Find another gear, absolutely. Pump the fists. Uh, let's start the second half. I don't think we need any uh, half-time changes. I wouldn't have said that very uh, a short while ago, but uh, given the way we finished that first half, absolutely. And let's see. Um, probably Doku is the first sub, and we'll bring on... Let's see, who can we bring on on the left wing? I think it's going to have to be Stendardo, who's a great out player, but uh, at least can play left wing. See what he's got. At least we're winning comfortably when he's coming on. Doku plays it to Abdus Salam, back to Skriniar. Skriniar down the, uh, the right wing, finds Sammy Lukonga, shot hard to Jones on the left. Jones gets it back rather fortuitously. Finds Doku. It's played back to Jones. Doku again. Raspadori. And Raspadori makes it three. And that was a devastating attack. We won't bother with the replay. We'll just skip over it. And we will make the change. I think the next substitution is Barella and we need to find a central midfielder to come on. Uh, the obvious candidate is Rodri, so that's the one we're going to go with. And the header from the corner from Omar Bamadili is over the top. We're well in charge of this game now, uh, although actually Fiorentina have a slightly better XG and have had more shots but less on target so it's it's a flattering 3-0 scoreline but we've been so clinical going forward um, I think the next sub is going to be Abdus Salam and we'll bring on Lorenzo Colombo for him Uh, Omar Bamadili picks it up at the back, Skriniar into Sammy Lukonga, shot hard, into Raspadori, picks out Stendardo, finds Jones, Stendardo again, finds shot hard, he's doing the uh, simple things well, finds Abdus Salam, and Raspadori is there with his second of the match. In fact, no, it's not, it's his third, and it's 4-0. I thought that was only his second goal, it's not, it's a hat-trick, so we'll make that change, and that's all three subs made, we've got only nine minutes to go, we're 4-0 up, this game is well and truly over, and in the end, although we've uh, got a better XG, we're slightly, well, more than slightly flattered by a 5-0 scoreline. Bongiorno adding the uh, the icing, or the cherry, I should say, atop the icing, atop the cake. And uh, keeper in no man's land can do nothing about it. Bongiorno makes the, uh, the game utterly, utterly safe. And... Uh, there it is, Inter Milan 5, Fiorentina 0. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of the episode. 
Okay, time now for the second match of today's episode as we face uh, Apoel Nicosia in the Champions League. And the team for this one is Alban Lafont in goal, back four of Skriniar, Jones, Bongiorno and Carlos. Shotard at the base of midfield, Barella and Sammy Lukonga ahead of him. It's uh, Abdus Salam on the right wing, uh, Raspadori on the left, Colombo up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, the assistant is recommending the fans expect to win, don't let them down. They certainly do, and they should. So we're going to pump the fists and go with that. And let's go into the tunnel, do a quick tunnel interview. Um, I'm not going to talk about individuals. Um, I'm not going to talk about individuals. Uh, Jeremy Doku misses out. Yeah, it's a big match. One of the players who are fit and available to step up. Stephen Jones starts. Um, yeah, it's playing very well. And uh, let's get the match underway and see if we can capitalise on Apple's recent poor form. So we're underway and looking to secure our uh, safe passage through to the next round. Petrillo to Christoffi. Petrillo with the ball forward. And it's back with Lafont who just prevents it crossing the line. And we get the pointless um, goal line replay. It was clear that it didn't cross the line. Didn't really need that uh, documentary evidence. Real Madrid take the lead against uh, Benfica. So as it stands, we are, well, as it stands, we're going through. The only thing that will stop us going through today is if we lose to Apoel. Let's demand more. So Shotard to Raspadori, into Colombo, back to Shotard. Sambi Lukonga through to Colombo, he's one on one with the keeper. Mavris makes the save. And it'll be a corner. And it'll be an in swinger, but we don't get to see it. In fact, we do. It's a second replay. Barella with the in swinger. The header is over the top and the highlight comes to an end. We are totally in charge of the game without having uh, actually uh, managed to uh, have uh, a goal or a massive chance. So let's see, do we need any substitutions? At the moment, no. Um, Real Madrid have gone 2-0 up and then 3 nil, so they are thoroughly in charge of their match and we just need to uh, to up our game a little bit to uh, take advantage and uh, get the goal that will see off Apoel and see us safely through to the next round I don't think we're going to catch uh, Real Madrid and it's Bongiorno to Jones, he comes forward, plays it to Skriniar on the right hand side. Skriniar into Abdus Salam, plays it through for Colombo. Colombo finds Raspadori who hits the outside of the net rather than the back of the net. And that's the first really big chance goes back in. So Hepburn Murphy. We've won it back, Raspadori to Bongiorno, Sambi Lukonga, Barella into Abdus Salam, Squiniar on the right hand side, beats his man and gets the cross in, Colombo with the header, somehow he's put it wide, I'm not quite sure how, and that is half time, it's still nil nil, we've been in total command of the first half, so show me something else. Um, something like that um, we can very much win it mm, don't know I don't quite like any of the uh, fans expect to win yeah we'll go with that why not let's start the second half 
and will probably make a change relatively quickly in that in the uh, second half question is where would it be most beneficial and I think the answer is probably Raspadori um, he's being played on the left wing out of necessity today um, so we'll bring on Antiste on the left Abdesalam needs to come off as well and we'll bring on Serginio Dest to play there So we've made a change to both wingers and that leaves us with just one remaining substitute and it's uh, Appoel's corner, it's headed away by Schottard and Appoel still have it, Kiriakou plays it through and Appoel have scored on the break and Panagi has put it in the back of the net and a goal is given so we are now in danger of not qualifying certainly won't be qualifying today as it stands Apwell within three points of us and uh, Real Madrid will be assured of top spot so let's demand more we need Antiste to come up with something here. He finds Shotard into Antiste again. He finds Sammy Laconga. Antiste to Colombo. Dest plays it through for Antiste. And it's kept out by the keeper. And it's a corner. And it's uh, Barella with the in swinger. And uh, Bongiorno can't get enough on it to put it uh, past the keeper. Shotard needs to come off. And we'll bring on Vipinski rather. So 15 minutes left. Demand more needed. Can't do it, so we'll go attacking instead. And then look for a demand more. Now we can. So we're doing both. And for some reason, we just haven't been at it in this game. And Apoel are going to take a shock three points away from this one. You would not have predicted that at the start of the uh, the match. Uh, Panagi's in again. And Nierfitu has made it two. Uh, it's not even going to, uh, to VAR. It's uh, given immediately and it's Squinyar on the right hand side plays it in, it's pinballing around Adamu takes it clear Jones picks it up it's not going to make any difference at this stage for Pinsky to Dest who crosses it in Colombo with the header does get a goal back for Inter but uh, with the four minutes already up it's going to be nothing more than scant consolation And we're just awaiting the full-time whistle now. And there it is. It's Apoel 2 into 1. I'll see you in a moment to show you the league tables and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, time now to take a look at the league table. And as you can see, in Syria, we are in third place with seven wins from our opening 12 matches. We've got 25 points on the board, five adrift of leaders Juventus who are unbeaten. And uh, let's uh, take a look at our uh, Champions League group. And as you can see, we are second in the group. Um, we have qualified uh, despite the uh, defeat to Apoel. Um, and the reason for that is the head-to-head -head record. Um, we have lost by two goals to one to Apoel, 
but as you can see we beat them 4-0 in the home the home match so that is enough to see us through despite uh, having lost twice in our opening five matches um, we cannot win the group so we're guaranteed to be runners up the final match therefore is a dead rubber at home to Real Madrid so let's take a look at what is going to be coming up on the next episode and I will show you the uh, the Real Madrid game I'll bring you back on the next episode and show you Real Madrid at home and Atalanta away so if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye <laughs>